well. Ooh, let me wake up a little bit. Salute back to you, Brother Michael. Well, come on, church. Angel Snow No. 7, the mighty one back in the house. This is the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am also your soul brother number one. Just want to make a short comment. I start to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, what's up there, Tone? I started to wait till tomorrow to give my commentary, but as you know, my philosophy is don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. There's no guarantee I will be around tomorrow. So this could be my last video, who knows? I would hope for a few more days but when it's your time to go it's your time to go just like when it was my time to be born it was my time to be born it was your time to go it's your time to go I don't chip off of it whenever whenever I, I just don't chip off of it now as you know I really don't talk about entertainers. I don't talk about things happening on the news. You know, I really don't get off into that. But I just wanted to, there was something in this I just wanted to uh, point out. Now, there's a sister, and I believe she is from Chicago. And her sister, I didn't know, but her sister is uh, the rapper called the the uh, the brat. And this sister is Lisa Ray. I sort of like Lisa Ray. I thought she was always a. I think Lisa Ray is a. Well, she still is. She's a beautiful woman. I believe we are around the same age, real close. And. Uh, I saw, I thought that she was very smart, intelligent woman. I like Lisa Ray. The first time I remember all of us probably saw Lisa Ray was in that uh, Ice Cube film. Uh, what was it? The, the Players, the Players Club, I think it was. She played a stripper. I think that was the first time I saw her and, uh, not too long ago, she was on this show called All of Us with uh, Dwayne Martin. That was a, a show, I think, it was, was it on UPN? Something like that. The WB, one of those. Uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, they produced that show, All of Us. So during her career, Miss, Miss Lisa Ray, I don't know if she's ever really been, I think she's only been married once or maybe twice. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know she has a, a grown daughter about 20 some years old. But, um, she's had a very decent, uh, career. Matter of fact, she, she brags about it. Talks about, you know, sipping champagne and you know, flying everywhere, you know, going to all these different places. You know, I, I got money. I got money. So, like I said, I do, I did, you know, like Lisa Ray. But there was a few things that she said that sort of disappointed me because I saw her in a more, 
uh, a different kind of light. She had a, a reality show not too long ago. And in that, re in, in that reality show, she was single and I guess she was dating or whatever. And she made the comment, the only thing, now here's a successful actress. I don't know how much, I don't know, I don't know if she has a college education or nothing like that, I don't know. But she seems to be, or try to portray herself as this you know, intelligent, sophisticated lady. And I remember on this reality show, what made me start looking at her different was, she said, the only thing I like to do was get drunk and have sex. I'm like, what? Now here's a woman Made millions of dollars, successful actress, been all over the world. And the only thing in her life she can say that she really enjoyed, she likes getting drunk and having sex. <laughs> wow, you I mean that's that's not she did not mention her daughter or her mother or anything else in she did not even talk about she enjoy acting. She said, I like having sex and I like getting drunk. I'm like, wow. Okay. To each his own. That's what you enjoy. That's what you like. That's what you like. But before she got her reality show, there was another comment that she made. Yeah, that was a, a comment that she made. This comment before she had that reality show. There was a comment that she made. Yeah, I know, uh, Brother Michael. It should be it should be fine now. We back on we back on point. She made another comment about me. And basically she was saying, if you don't have any money, she can't talk to you. Basically that's what she was saying. You gotta have some, you gotta have some ducats. Okay. So in order for you to date Lisa Ray, you have to have money. And I guess you got to get drunk and have a lot of sex. <laughs> okay. I'm saying all this, I just wanted to put all that out there just to make this point. So since that time, she married a, a fella from an island. I, I don't know what this island is. Keiko's. Caicos or whatever, some kind of island. Matter of fact, she quit her, she quit her acting job so she can marry this guy and become the first lady of this island. So here's a man, big shot, got money. He's the prime minister of uh, this island. And I guess, I'm pretty sure he likes to drink. They can have the sex that she want. So Lisa Ray seems to be living her dream. Got a dream, man, everything is going good. Next thing you know, all this, all this is falling apart. Her man, He's caught up in corruption on the island. A different uh, uh, 
corruption charges is leveled against him. She was friends with Dwayne Martin, a co-star on her show. And she introduced her husband to Dwayne Martin, who is a married man also. And Dwayne Martin was introducing her husband to different women and he was cheating on Lisa Ray. In fact, he was cheating on Lisa Ray with that uh, young woman from uh, 106 in Park, uh, Roxy, whatever. But, you know, uh, Lisa, you should be sort of happy. I mean, you got everything you want. You got the man with the money, the uh, high profile, the prestige, big shot. You know, I'm pretty sure he liked to drink. All y'all like to drink, get drunk, and, and y'all have a lot of sex. The point that I would like to make in all of this whether you are male or female, you cannot, what they say, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot, Lisa, if she ever, if she might listen to this video, just like, just like in the uh, uh, religious world, they want to have God. They want to have Jesus, but they want to have a little fun too. You cannot have both of them. Either you're going to be righteous or you're going to be unrighteous. You decided to live a life of unrighteous behavior or ratchet behavior, but you also want the good. You want a good husband but you want to, you picking a man in an, in an environment that is not good. I don't have to know the man. The environment of celebrity and fame and fortune. Now to a poor man, to somebody who might not have something, uh, anything, somebody like Lisa Ray, you might get treated like a queen or whatever. Maybe. Maybe. That's not, it's not a guarantee. But you have a man like Dwayne Martin, successful actor. Your husband, this, this guy on this island. You don't mean nothing to them. They have women running around chasing them all the time, whether they have a wedding ring on their hand or not. And pretty soon, the sex that you like for men like this, it get redundant. They get tired of eating the same ice cream every day. They get married just for the hell of it. Just so they can say, my wife. But they're not, they have so much in the candy store, Tisha Campbell, Lisa Ray, many of these women, Layla Rashad, you beautiful, you successful, but in that world, it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing at all. So you got what you asked for. You wanted righteousness, you wanted this ill behavior, and you got it. That's the consequence. That's what that's what happens here. You cannot you cannot have your cake and eat it too. It, you, you either righteous or you unrighteous. You want a good man, then you have to show good behavior. Here you are telling the world the only thing you enjoy is getting drunk and having sex. And the only thing, and the only man that you want is he got to have money. So you got every everything that you wanted, you got it. So what
Yeah, I know. We're back. We should be back good now. You want a man? Y'all just lay around, have sex, and get drunk. But you don't want a man with integrity. You don't want a man with kind of honesty. As long as he got money. That's all you interested in. Another man, other men don't talk to you. Don't even try talking to me. I'm not interested. You don't have no money in your pocket. Well, you ask for. Because for men, like the kind that you chose, it don't mean nothing. You just another, there's a word, I'm not going to use it, as far as they concerned. Your success, who you are, don't mean nothing to them. That guy from that island, you're nothing but a token wife. You were just something to get and show off. That's all you was. That's all you are. He got money. He got prestige. He has position. All that type of thing don't mean anything. You worried about money and showing off. So you got what you, you asked for. And so now she's on YouTube and a on the media crying what you crying for you got what you asked for you don't want you did not want a man with integrity the only thing you care about is material things a pleasure seeker getting drunk licking somebody lapping on somebody well you got me all that you got all of it so why are you crying? Why you want somebody to feel sorry for you. You made decision and it did not turn out well. And I could have told you a long time ago that it wasn't going to turn out well. You're messing around with people that, that's arrogant, self-righteous, who think they are better than other folks. <laughs> Especially men, especially those men in, the, in that business. You should know what, what they are about. I'm just a man. Anybody that throw a pair of panties in my face, I got to grab it. And you don't even have to be in Hollywood. That's right, Brother Michael. You don't even have to be in Hollywood. A lot of these men are trained that way, conditioned that way. You throw a pair of panties in their face, they gotta go for it. And then you have, I'm very sure that him and Dwayne Martin and the rest of those Hollywood Negroes, those men, they got together and they brag about what they do. How they cheated on you and Tisha Campbell and some of those other ladies. Because because they're surrounded by other pieces of trash like themselves. Now they could not, they would not do that around me. Because if I know that you married and you talking about you cheating on your wife, I'm not gonna let you get that off around me. But other dogs, other 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 male hoes. That's what they do. And that's what you asked for. You didn't want a man with integrity, somebody with honesty, somebody with pride in themselves, somebody with some type of esteem, some type of morality to themselves. You wanted somebody like that man used you to show off. You were using him to show off. Look at me. I'm the first lady of this island. You was using him, he was using you, but he got the best out the whole deal. 
and now you're on YouTube, on social media, and you crying. Oh, he did you so wrong, blah, blah, but you asked for it. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You cannot live, as they say in religion, an, un uh, an, an unholy life and expect good things to come to you. Either you're righteous or you're unrighteous. You're unrighteous, so you got what you deserve. That's how it is. You want to live, you live in this celebrity, Hollywood type lifestyle. That's what it's all about. Very few are unaffected by it. The stories go on and on. And usually, the one who gets the, uh, the bad end of the stick is the women. And you got the bad end of the stick, as usual. But it's your fault because you wanted a dog and you got one. That's how it go. So I'm just saying, I just wanted to bring this up. So uh, I just wanted to bring this up because it's like a, uh, it's a teachable, it's a teachable moment. That's the reason why I wanted to bring it up. This is not my thing, talking about celebrities. I feel, you know, I, I, I do feel her pain, but also at the same time, in that world, and you know that world, Lisa, I'm very sure before she even got involved in her marriage with this guy, whatever, she knew what the, what the deal is, but it's gonna be different for me not going to happen to me but it did so we need to take a lesson from Lisa Ray whether you rich a celebrity or you poor or middle class whatever you are when we looking for people to be in love with have a relationship with many of you already know just because that person is cute or they have money but do they have integrity? Do they have some type of morality about themselves? Because if they don't have those things, and then in the end, when they express what they really always was, and you knew they was also, but like I said, it seems as though Lisa was using him for whatever and he was using her she was a token wife he's a token husband to make her look good they both trying to show each other off and when that happens in the end it can't be good so on that note I hope that we learn something and uh, take my advice really when it's all said and done it's better, it's better to be by yourself than in the company of a fool. I'd rather be by myself than in the company of a fool. I could, I could do bad all by myself. I don't need somebody. Now, this has messed, just turned her life all kinds of twisted up way. So on that note, So on that note, let me get out of here. Need to rest up for tomorrow. And uh, shout out to the chat room again. Shout out to my Facebook. And we already 5,000. Peace.